Hey y'all, Bill Quirk with the Defensive Training Group and Big Daddy Unlimited. Today we're going to be talking about slings. So slings are a very important accessory and one that definitely you need to include with your, your overall setup. Slings are basically to a rifle or a shotgun what a holster is to your handgun. It's a place to put the weapon when you need to use your hands for other things. So it's definitely something that needs to be included on the weapon. Uh, most people are going to uh, include one on a carbine. Sometimes on shotguns we don't see them for whatever reason, but uh, it is definitely something that you'll need, especially if you're actually moving around with the weapon on you uh, in a situation where you may need to use your hands to do some other task. So there are several different types of slings that are out there. Originally you had what we're called, we call now carry straps of some sort. And they're generally going to be something that extend from this point all the way around to this point on the bottom of the weapon. And you'll see these these days mostly in more traditional applications, hunting rifles, uh, maybe uh, more traditional woodstock shotguns, things of that nature. Um, because having the sling come around the bottom limits how we can sling the weapon up on our bodies. Now they are uh, viable in certain circumstances and there are techniques that we can, uh, that we can teach to, to, to allow you to expeditiously deploy the weapon if you need to from a slung position. But um, when we started getting into the tactical use, if you will, of these weapon systems, we started to look for better ways to attach the gun to our body. And so back in the 90s, it was common to see a, a three-point sling, which had a bunch of webbing and attached uh, on the side of the weapon usually as opposed to the bottom. And uh, the sling would form a triangle uh, with a lot of webbing. And it was just more complex than it needed to be. There was more stuff to get snagged on things. And so we got away from those. And nowadays, you generally are going to see one of uh, two different types of slings for tactical use or any kind of uh, defensive use or competition use. And that's going to be either a single point sling or a tactical two point sling. Both are good, both have pros and cons, and we're going to discuss those now. And then finally, I'll, at the end, I'll tell you what I use and, uh, and explain why I use it. So a single point sling, as the name suggests, is going to be, that's what I've got on right now, and it's just a single loop that goes across the torso with a single point of connection on the weapon, typically at the back of the trigger guard. So right here is where this quick detach stud is going to fit in on my weapon right there, and now the weapon can stay slung in this orientation right here. A two-point sling is going to attach on the side of the weapon again at the rear and up towards the front, generally speaking. Um, have a single piece of webbing that's going to come up here. And like on this one, this one you'll see can be used that way. And it's got a quick detach, or not a quick detach, a quick uh, adjustment tab that allows me to increase or decrease the, the amount of webbing so I can get more mo motion and mobility out of, the, uh, out of the sling when it's attached to the weapon. So pros and cons. The single point sling is about the simplest because all it is is a loop that attaches around your body. There's uh, less to get uh, snagged on stuff, to get caught on equipment or as you're going through a doorway or something like that. But it doesn't give you as much stability on the weapon because there is only a single point of connection. So the gun's going to sway more uh, since it's only got that single point of connection. A two point, on the other hand, is going to have more webbing because it is going to be attached at two points on the weapon. and uh, therefore there's more of a snag potential. It's also going to limit your mobility a little bit. We'll see that in a second. But it does give you more stability because you've got two points of connection on the weapon. So pros and cons. Um, what I have used for the last about 15 years is a single point sling. And when I'm teaching, I use something like this. When I was working on my armor, I actually had a single point sling that was fed through the armor itself. So the armor took the, the weight of the weapon as opposed to me. Where I might use operationally a two point sling at this point is if I am going to be deploying with the weapon for a prolonged amount of time. Because the two point sling is going to give you more stability and more comfort as you're walking around doing stuff. So if you're patrolling, um, if you're going to be standing around with a weapon on for a long time, that might be a better option. What I did throughout most of my career were quick operations. We would roll up in our vehicles, we would deploy, surround the house, call out the bad guy, go and make entry, whatever the case may be. But they were short in duration, and for the most part, I had my hands on the weapon the entire time. I wasn't standing around with the gun just slung, and we weren't patrolling or anything like that. So the single point made more sense for me. 
And having it slung through my armor, like I said, took all the weight off of my shoulders and integrated it into the armor, which was wrapped around my body, of course. So when I'm teaching, what I'll use is what I've got here. And this is a Magpul MS3 sling. And I like this for a couple of reasons. So what I will do is attach the sling back here using the quick detach, if I can get it to go on here. So when I'm shooting, and I mentioned this, I can have, I get more mobility. When the weapon is up here, I can cross shoulder, do all kinds of different stuff like this. Because it's just a single point on my body, it will move back and forth very easily. When it's slung though, as we discussed, and you can't really see it because of the table, but the weapon can sling back and forth because there is only this single point of connection here. So when I'm shooting, I'll run it in a single point configuration because that does give me the most flexibility as far as movement. Uh, when I'm going to do my reloads and whatnot, I can move the weapon around really well. There's no uh, tension or anything on the sling because it is just a single point connected right here. When I start doing lectures or when I'm watching the line though, I'll take the sling and I'll connect it to this forward point here. And you can run this as far forward as you want. There are arguments for going more towards the muzzle and then further back. But now I have a two point and you see I have a lot more stability on the weapon. It's a bit more comfortable as I'm standing here watching the line, watching my class or lecturing. It just gives me more control over the weapon. Generally speaking, no matter whether it's in single point or two point, I am going to try and keep my hand on fire control as much as possible and maintain control of my selector. Just because if we're wearing kit particularly, but even if we're not, as this thing is moving around, the selector can get bumped off and we set ourselves up for a, a bad situation. So as much as possible, I'll keep my hand on fire control with positive control of my selector. But this just gives you an idea, whether you wanna run a single point or a tactical two point, either one is fine. Make sure it's appropriate to what you're trying to accomplish. For most people, for a home defense type situation or running in classes and whatnot, a single point is probably gonna be your simplest and most effective option that's going to give you the most flexibility as far as moving around and whatnot. And uh, if you do want to be able to have the ability to switch over to a two point, you can use a setup kind of like what I've got here with the, uh, the MS3 from Magpul. As always, if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Till then, stay safe.